What's up, guys? What's up, everybody? This is Johnny Aqua Crespo on Instagram. Go we'll follow. We'll follow. We're going to the Atlanta airport right now to Southwest Cargo to pick up our fish. We ordered them when? Ordered them last about, Friday. Yeah, last, last Friday. Friday but uh, we were having difficulties with the shipper because she's still in college, so she was having classes and everything like that, finals, everything coming up. So she had let me know, hey, it's gonna be a little bit of a delay. So that's fine with you, and I told her, yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's just before this weekend, so. Yeah, we're, they were supposed to be shipped out on Tuesday, but it's Thursday now, so we're gonna go pick them up. This is our first time doing this, so we're, we really don't know where the hell we're going, honestly. Oh, we just got all we, Yeah, all we have is an address, but I mean, we don't know what, what we're supposed to do, so we're gonna wing it, I guess. We're but go out there, show we'll, the picture. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go collect our our, uh, our baggage, and then uh, we'll see you guys at the house when we do the unboxing. Peace. All right, so we think we got it. We think we we think we're at the right spot. It says Southwest Cargo, so we're gonna go inside and um, and yeah. see if this is the right spot. Yeah, talk to them. And yeah, so don't and get see if we can get our fish. All right. Peace. All right, guys. So. We did come to the right spot. Fish guys. Fish guys. Yep. We came to the right spot. Now we're waiting to see if it's... Alright, cool. We're getting in the car. Appreciate it, man. Alright, guys. So, we're going to the right spot. Alright. So, this is the right spot. Um, it landed already. I landed up with Southwest. And he said it's going to take about... Yeah. It's going to take about 20 more minutes for it to get here. So, we're going to... We're gonna get our um, our fish after that, get in the car, and we'll, we'll show you a little preview of the fish. Look at the coffee stain, I'm sorry, look at this car. I can't get over this. Um, we'll show you a little preview of the fish when we get into the car. Cool? Yeah, sounds good. Shout out to Southwest. Peace. All right, guys. The fish are here. Here. The fish are here, right, G? You wanna go out to the pink? I'd say I say we I say we open it at the house. You want, you want to make the people wait? Yeah, I say we make them wait until we get to the house. Well, for them it'll be like two seconds, but for us it'll be uh, for us it'll be an hour. An hour freaking drive home. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So we can get these out the bag. All right, guys, we're finally home. Johnny's doing the unboxing real quick. Look, the bag came a little messed up, but it's all right. Um, we're gonna open the bag or the the box. And we got our acclimation station already uh, already here. So two fish, right, G? Two fish are coming in here. Two, three, three fish are coming in here in the 125. And two fish are going downstairs. So, oh, yeah. Two. We got two heat packs. And they're still pretty warm. Yo, that's mad hot. That's, that is hot. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, you do the honors, G. Nice. Starting first bag with the first bag i believe this is the four inches this is the finished stratus going upstairs yeah four inch finished stratus via yeah, finished stratus i think we got what three of those three finished stratus or four three. four four finished stratus and then okay, one zanatus oh the water's a little water that's coming out but it's all right so we got four we got four via hot finished stratus two two of them are coming up here two of them are going downstairs Oh, there he is. They all look pretty healthy. Yeah, this one's good. They look nice. There's definitely yeah. right there too. And then we got one uh, 10 inch, eight to 10 inch Vieja Zonatis. It's a four to four inch one. And we got the Zonatis. That's the big boy. Heavy. Yeah, God the big boy. Me. All right, so we'll go ahead and um, take the three that are staying up here. It's a big rod. <laughs> like rod from Predatory? Nah, that's a baby bag too. Baby it took you that much. Yeah, bro. So we'll get three of them. We'll go ahead and put them in the bucket and acclimate them. We'll uh, show you one by one. And uh, yeah. So how to ram these guys. We call him Frank because he looks like Frank Gallagher from Shameless. <laughs> what do you want, Frank? All right, so let's go ahead and dump that water in and get them acclimated. Got another finish 
try this. this Another. One. I'm gonna go ahead and start acclimating it. Yeah, please. Alright, so that's all we're gonna do. Get it. And then suck it real quick. Both sides in there. Water coming out. And there you go. The water temperature is almost the same, though, honestly. Hey, bro. They had it wow. nice and warm. They, yeah, they, had, they killed it. And it's blue water to keep the fish calm. It's like a type of medicine, I think, to keep them nice and calm while during uh, transport. But there they are. You can see them in there. All right, now the 8 to 10 inch yeah, Zonatus. Zonat, Zonatus. Zonatus, Zonatus, Zonat, whatever they say, however you Say it. Zonatus. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, that's a big boy. This guy's leaking. We got a leaker. We got a sprayer. <laughs> How'd that go, bro? Let me touch the ceiling. Yeah, he's about eight inches. He's gonna overflow. Nah, it's not gonna overflow. He'll be alright. All right, guys, we're gonna give him about 20 minutes to acclimate. Actually, hold on, let me see. Yeah, that's warm. Yeah, maybe your your, your tank's a little hotter. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna give him about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to acclimate. All right, all right so it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take all this out. Get the fishes, we'll just drop this on the floor real quick. Okay, so I have both of them right now. I'm grab them both. I guess we're going with the big guy first. Oh, big guy. Show you a quick look at what he looks like in the net. Yeah, so right now it's gonna be a little stressed because obviously he just came out of, uh, he came from Florida. Um, but hopefully in the next couple days, his colors will come back. We'll show you after, dang, he really needs to flash up now. He's about eight inches. Seven, eight. I don't know if this is uh, I think this is a... Uh... All right, little guy. All right, little guy. He's a jerk. Go ahead and put him in. Finish Stratus. And then that's a Zonatus. Zonatus. So we have another Finish Stratus. This one's a four inch one. This is my four inch coming up here. Thank you, bud. There's flash in your face again. That's all the fish coming up here. That's the three fish up here. Yeah, we got the two Finistratus, the Vieja Finistratus. Once they get older, they'll color up a lot more. And then we got the Vieja Sonatus. And they really did splash on tail. Museum. Towel in action. Fish towel. Everybody knows about their one. But yeah, so uh, we'll keep you updated on these guys. Um, I have two of these Fenestratus going downstairs in the 240. Um, but we'll keep you updated and hopefully everything goes well. All right, guys. So we have uh, our fish over here acclimating. It's been, we, we're just going to go ahead and skip the process because we already showed you upstairs of how we do it. Um, but again, if you acclimate your fish, then just get out the hobby. You need to acclimate your damn fish. Yeah, what are you doing? What, what are you guys doing? Exactly. Come on now. If you don't acclimate your fish, then what do you, you can't are, you, are, are you really a fish guy? Yeah, you can clear yourself a fish guy. You're not a fish guy. <laughs> so, anyway, so put this away. Um, I need to feed my fish before I go ahead and put these guys in here because or else it'll be a blood pack. So what's up, Kobe? Yo, Kobe. Say what's up to the people. They want to see you. Good boy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move this light back. I'm going to open this up. Put this guy in here. Put this guy in 
here. All right, so I know I did a rundown earlier, but again, here's all my fish. I got three Red Devils in here. I got um, five Bias and Spillums. I got one Argentia. I got three Severns in here, one, two, and then third one somewhere. I got one Oscar in here, one Lemon Oscar. I got a Pike. Uh, I got five Convicts, three of uh, the regular color, and then two Albino. Um, what else? I got two Jack Dempsey's. I got two Jewel Cichlids. And I know they're African, they're, they're African fish, but um, I think they look pretty cool. Especially in here, they look, they look cool in here. We got a Vieja of some type in here. I don't really know what type of Vieja that is, but it's in here. Um, I did my last video about this guy. I think I posted, what, two weeks ago? Might we well saved go back him. and watch it, right? Yeah, might as well go back and watch it. Uh, we saved him from a guy who had him in, in the tank with no filter, no aeration, anything. It was just literally in plain still water. Um, and he was getting out the hobby. He didn't want to buy a new filter because his broke. So I went ahead and grabbed it for him or from him. Uh, we got the tilapia that I saved from uh, our local uh, supermarket that sells live fish. And he's doing good in here. He's a little aggressive towards us and spill him. But other than that, like he's he's fine. Like they don't, he doesn't do any damage towards them. But um, what else? What else? I got my plecos in here. I have two clown knives in here. One of them is Gianni's, but once he upgrades to his bigger tank, we'll go ahead and put him in there. Um, but I got two of them in here. I got three Bichers. And where's the other ones? Oh, we're always hiding somewhere. I got two Raphael catfish. One's about five, six inches, and the other one's about nine inches. Uh, those guys are always hiding because they're like nocturnal fish. So they only come out at night when I shut these lights off. So we'll show you this guy. Yeah, we'll show you that guy. But there's another one that's bigger. Um, what else? Is there anything else? The so, Midas, oh, red and the Arowana. It's about 16 inches. About not two feet yet. Not two feet, but it's getting there. I got him when he was about what six inches less. Less than that. Was. And uh, yeah, and my little green terror that does not grow at all. You bought him at that size. I literally bought them at the size, about four months. Got these fish acclimated. We're gonna go ahead and put them in the tank. We're gonna move this out the way. Guys, these are awesome lids for your tanks. They're so, they're cheap from Home Depot and easy. Just cut them to the size and that's it, you're done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get two of them. We got them both right there. You see what they look like. I got two four inch. Yeah, okay, how what's it called again? Finistratus. Finistratus. I guess we got the Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the net in there and give them a nice release. So I definitely have to keep an eye on them, especially in this tank. Um, I don't want anybody to pick on them and they have to uh, figure out basically where their territory is gonna be, like where they can swim and where they can't. Um, but if it doesn't work in here, if, they, if I see that they're getting picked at or anything, I'll go ahead and put it in, in the quarantine tank I have. It's literally right underneath this tank. It's right there. Right, yeah, back there. Um, yeah, and that's what I'll do, but I'm feeding them again just so that they don't pick on these guys. But um, other than that, that's really much it. Where are they? Where'd they go? There's one right oh, there. There he is. There's one the other guy, I don't know. He, he went oh, straight to the back here. Oh, he's right there in the back corner. He's right there. Little guy. At least they're bigger than the green terror. You've yeah, for seriously. About months. I know. I hope these guys grow, grow into monsters, grow into at least 10 inches, you know? All right, so running this tank, I got one sponge filter and that's it. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. I have two e -Hunt filters rated for 220, 250 gallons each. So there's plenty of enough. We got a wave maker here. I honestly don't know how many gallons per hour wave maker this is, but it, did you get that? Yep. That's what they be doing every day. Another thing helping me out with this uh, tank and my nitrites are my pothos plants I'm trying to grow out. And um, yeah, it's working so far. The plants have gotten bigger, but I just hope this works. And then I got my sign from my sister-in-law, which is pretty awesome. And yeah. Fish towel. Fish towel, fish towel in use. And that's really much it guys. So thanks for watching. 
the unboxing. Hit a like and hit that subscribe button. I mean, first unboxing on Fir Aquatics. First unboxing on Aero Aquatics. First unboxing. So if you wanna give us a uh, a follow on Instagram, it's at what? Aqua Crespo. Aqua Crespo on Instagram, and mine is right there. Just take a screenshot of that, guys. But um, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching, and we'll keep you updated on all five of the fish we got. Yep. Right. And we'll keep you updated. More, more shipments to come in. Hopefully more to come in. Hopefully more to come in. And Gianni, by the way, is upgrading his tank. So he has a 185 in the back that we have to reseal that's in process right now. And he also has a 210, 220 gallon tank in our garage that we're waiting just to build a stand just like this for. So that's to come. The hose, oh yeah, and we gotta cover up the hose like what I did over here. Um, because we're not gonna run a sump on it because he has enough canisters for it. Yep. Um, it's just much easier with the canister, honestly. Yeah, but so we'll 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 make that video. Uh, but yeah, guys, here's the the tank once again. And uh, I hope you like the video. Peace.